right, final instructions have been given. No question. Let alone the rest when you're giving up some side. Oh, you're there see you that see right exactly there. that's what happens. The beautiful outside trip, and then not only the trip, but the, the, the power to come down right on top as well. That is a meaningful takedown. Yeah, Garcia is dangerous on the top. Most people have a really hard time getting out from under there. No question. You see Julian Hex controlling the neck there, trying to stop Garcia from posturing up, which now she's let go. Of. That's exactly what she's doing, trying to posture up, land some powerful shots. Now, Hex doing a good job of using her long limbs. She does have the longer legs to kind of push away, and that keeps Garcia from being able to strike. Excellent tactical work here on the ground, but there you see the power from Garcia. That's what you don't want to happen if you're facing the flower bomb. Oh, nice. Just jumps guard. Excellent work there. The power. Hex couldn't hold on to that weight, and it drags her to the floor. Now Garcia is trying to secure those wrists as well. Normally we like to see Garcia working from the top. The wrestler, she normally likes to enjoy that top position. Use her strength and power right now, working for her back, and looks comfortable. Although when Hex postures up, being the longer fighter, she's going to be the one that can punch down. Yeah, yeah definitely the height difference, I think, is giving her advantage as well. She's able to kind of posture up a little bit easier against the smaller opponent. Yeah, no question about it. All right, now she's working on top. Back. Yep. Looking to potentially slip out. Garcia did a nice job of rolling through to yeah. maintain top position. Nice roll there. I was trying to make sure she got that right arm free. She did, so now it's Garcia in the top. Not a lot of time left in the round here, though. Garcia, this is where she likes to be on top. Working from Hex's guard. Hex keeping that closed guard, legs tight. Now she breaks the guard. Last second, can she get the triangle chip or the arm bar? Can she get into play? She's got kind of a leg squeeze there, but no. Bell Sounds can't quite get the submission. She's gonna have to let it go. I don't think she wants to let it go. She almost had a little bit of a, oh. bit of a brawl there. Understandably so. Listen, she she definitely held on to that submission too long. I'm hoping she just had an issue, maybe not hearing. Oh, a oh, nice no, kick no, in the midsection. Whoa, that's not fair. Hex, the Krav Maga special. Krav Maga, all about street fighting, battle time warfare. We have got ourselves oh, a no, melee. She just oh my the goodness! Jolene wow. has lost her mind. This is insane. Will this fight even carry on? Do they just disqualify her right now? I don't think it can go on. I think it's got to be over. You, you got to, right? I mean, Ladoy, I think, is still down. Heck, smiling. Yeah, they're saying he's getting out. They're sending her out. That's it. Tough call to make. So the first round between me and Jolene, um, we were both kind of just trying to feel each other out. That's what the vibe I got. We did kind of throw a couple jabs and strikes to test each other out. So the first round with Monica, I did not expect her to come out of the gate as strong as she did. I honestly thought she was going to do more stand up, but this girl was like a raging bull in a ring. Like she just bulldozed me like over and over and used all of her power and all of her body and just kept like running me over like she really wanted to get on the ground with me. Monica's a big girl. Jolene knows how to fight so I really didn't know what the outcome was going to be of that situation but it, it was a good fight though. I stood outside and watched that fight. They're both very good fighters. I mean Monica was a champ. Jolene's a European champ. So you can't expect anything less to happen during that fight. I was very surprised on like how much of an upper hand I did have on her um, because I thought it was going to be the opposite. I thought she was going to have the upper hands on me. I thought I had to do more work, but it was pretty easy to take her down every you know now and then. And I got some pretty cool and clear shots on her. I would say, yeah, I was confident in that I got you know the first round. She didn't lose any steam. This girl is just like, ah, like just a machine in there. She was using her body weight instead of technique. And honestly, I got pretty pissed by that because I get that we don't necessarily do weight divisions in LFC, but I don't think that that should be a means for girls to take advantage. I think that we should still be technique based. Again, I felt like 
I was doing pretty good and you know that got the crowd going so it just powered me up more to just in trying to get her in like a headlock or something. So at the end of round two um, I got Monica in a head scissor and apparently I held her after the bell. She definitely held on to that submission too long. I'm hoping she just had an issue maybe not hearing. Oh, a nice oh, no, a kick. Kick. It's just crazy, oh, and I didn't expect her to react like that. Like, it's not her. It's like, why would you do that? Why? 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 Jolene usually is level-headed and calm. I, I have no idea where that came from. There's a little bit of rage in that girl, <laughs> so uh, I guess that's her best way to... Um, show it oh, that's not fair i don't get why she would do such a thing she knows better you're not listening to the refs you better listen to me so that's why i jumped in the the ring battle time warfare we've got ourselves oh, a no, just oh my goodness i was just upset i was feeling moody that night i don't know if i had my period or what but everybody was feeling my wrath jolene got hit by rabies I don't know. It's pretty much how you can put it. Never would I have even thought that she would do such a thing. Jolene wow. has lost her mind. This is insane. Will this fight even carry on? Do they just disqualify her right now? All I know is that I saw Holly on the same floor that I was already. And I was like, what the hell is happening? Actually, because she's my teammate, I was quite proud. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I shouldn't say this, but yeah, I was proud that she took her down. I mean, I know she's our president, but still, I was like, you go, girl. You know, you're part of our team. We're badass. So I shouldn't say it, but I was kind of happy to see that. I don't think it could go on. I think it's got to be over. You, you got to, right? I mean, I agree that I overreacted, okay? I might have let my emotions get the best of me that night. A win is a win, but yeah, it was kind of bittersweet for the fact that it was due to a disqualification. So if Jolie did that on purpose, cause you know, she knew she was probably not gonna have the upper hands on this fight. Monica thinks and says a lot of stuff. I was, you know, being super aggressive. Um, I don't think she's ever fought an opponent like me. So maybe that did kind of like, you know, scare her up a little bit. I didn't hear the bell, like I said a million times. What if Monica accidentally hit my ear or something and I didn't realize, like I could have had something medical going on that I didn't hear the bell. Hi everyone, it's Holly Mae, your interim LFC prez. <sighs> but I'm sure you guys all saw this coming. You expected me to come back on here and speak on LFC 27. Now, for those of you who saw what happened, I'm sure you knew this was coming. Even though she's my teammate, Jolene throwing down Holly is not okay. There needs to be some sort of action on that. I feel like that was whack because, I mean, she's a pretty good fighter, so I don't see why she wouldn't want to give it her all like she has in all her other fights. It happened so quick. Um, I seen Andrea run in and then Jolie like kicked her she fell to the floor and I was gonna go after her, but then I don't remember who, but like somebody pulled me back. I don't know if it was Ali. Then I heard Andrea like moaning over here, like, oh, like in pain. So I was just like, what's going on? Everything just. Yeah, I understand that I didn't hear the bell ring at the end of the round. I was too into the zone. I don't know what had got into her, but I definitely felt her vibe. I would suspend her definitely, but I do not know probably for how long, at least two, three fights. You'll be suspended for one event for not releasing the submission against Monica, but your second event suspension will be for laying your hands on me. We've got girls doing all kinds of crazy, insane things, and they don't get suspended. Like really illegal things. I missed the bell by like two seconds and I get suspended for two events. No one, and I repeat, no one touches me. So for those of you who in the future think that you want to pull some fast one like she did, you won't get of a easy uh, punishment like she is. Okay? Just fair warning. So 
that'll be a two event suspension for you, Jolene. So I guess you can think about what you did then. I'm not gonna tolerate any of that BS while I'm pregnant.